The Uinta Mountains have thawed and the fishing is fast and furious all along Highway 150. Hi, I'm Tom Walls with Fish Tech Outfitters with this week's fishing report. If you're into flies, flies have been working great. I would suggest a woolly bugger and then put behind it around 16 to 14 inches a small nymph, like a royal flush or a red squirrel nymph. Dry flies have also been working well. I would start with a small elk hair caddis and then maybe an emerger. Flies in a bubble also work great if you're not a fly guy. You can take a, a bubble and then suspend one of these wet, wet flies around two feet below it. But if you're into bait, I would suggest power bait around two feet below a bobber or a worm. Lures are great. My go-to lure is a Panther Martin. I love the solid color, silver and gold, but the checkered colors also work great, like gold and black. Jakes and small crocodiles work great as well for targeting the larger fish. Within the last several years, many Arctic grayling have been stocked all along all the lakes on Highway 150. Throwing wet flies works great for them, especially the small nymphs trailed behind a woolly bugger. They also like worms, but aren't huge fans of power bait. If you have any questions about fishing in the Uenas or anywhere else, come down to Fish Tech and we'll help you out. Now for tonight's fishing line.